Hi, Pisces. This transformation is no joke. Um, sorry, I wasn't here for almost a week. I kept wanting to come on um, every day, and I just, it's been a roller coaster. It's been, there's been a pressure, a movement, an acceleration in so many levels physical, material, um, emotional, definitely rising. It's like everything that perhaps we were used to, right? We had our routines, our patterns, even if it has to do with your spiritual practice or, you know, your work, everything just perhaps came and the image that is coming through is put you like in this ball and you were just like rolling, 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 rolling down a mountain. It's crazy. It's a moment in time here where there has been upgrades, there has been visions, um, a lot of mirroring when it comes to relationships, twin flame journey, very strong right now. And obviously we were prepared for that, right? We were talking about this, those two eclipses and the 11-11 portal that just happened. And we're still going to be feeling those energies um, for another six months. But I would say the intensity of it has been felt right now and perhaps for a few more days. Then it's kind of like, again, this ball, you know, when it's really fast, fast, fast. And then slowly but surely it gets to the valley, you know, where everything slows down. And things materialize, things are clear. Also, we're getting to the end of the Scorpio season, you know, in roughly 10 days, getting into Sagittarius, which is going to have to do with, you know, um, independence, but also clarity of focus, direction, and also more optimism, you know, not so much of the depth of going through our shadows with the Scorpio, right? Even though we still have, you know, this collective South Node in Scorpio and North Node in Taurus for almost another, well, less than a year now. So we're still going to be working, you know, for the next six months with, you know, our depth, our truth, you know, all those things. But all this is really contributing. This pressure, this tremendous pressure we're feeling is contributing to renewing ourselves, becoming the best versions of ourselves and getting to the truth, you know, of the flow of our soul, of our divine mission and understanding at this time, especially with Mars and retrograde, that it's not so much about the external, what you do, but it's really more about the manifestation from within. How are you energetically aligned um, authentic with who you are, your truth. And when that's really cultivated and becomes the true concentration and focus of every single moment in your life, then everything is going to start to manifest. And that's the trust and the faith where the true manifestation and abundance comes from the depth. The deeper you go within, the more outside is going to be revealed. So here, we're talking a lot about here, there's a healing, a feminine healing, mother healing that is happening. We've got ungrateful daughter and earthly mother here, the fire mother as well. And so this is calling to how do we take care of ourselves? And that has been, especially now, I mean, I don't know if you've got a lot of rest, but it has been feeling like there has, hasn't been rest. It hasn't been e easy to rest. And when we had time to rest, you know, we would perhaps feel maniac or like, you know, have all those energies being activated so much. And so here there is this equilibrium that needs to be found where how are we taking care of ourselves? Because again, everything is going to come through outwardly 
when we are here truly and so you got here welcome home 11 11 obviously came twice <laughs> i am enough let go of expectations and mission accomplished welcome home so again this 11 11 portal i really feel has been calling us to see how we care for ourselves how do we put the right boundaries with other people how do we react or not react to situations are we taking the outside as a mirror reflection to learn about more about ourselves and go deeper we have karmic purge here mirror reflections or are we continuing to disregard and just point the finger outside when truly every single moment and situation whatever it is is teaching us something about ourselves it's always about here never about the outside and so the six six here beyond illusion change your perception you know is exactly that we have been pushed here to even though it has been uncomfortable because i have definitely felt this uncomfortability if that's a word um where And perhaps for the first time in your life, that much, not being able to do things the way that you, your program, your identity would do things. And so there's a waking up process that perhaps you had an idea of what that was, um, perhaps feeling all of those vibrations, you know, all that. No, here there's a sense of being completely popped out <laughs> it feels that way popped out meaning that you are perhaps feeling more grounding as you're rising but not feeling the rising but actually you are rising without being conscious of it and perhaps a few days later you find yourself a completely different person your perception has changed perhaps you feel that you are you know, you go in the street and you are in the midst of people, but you don't personalize anymore. There's no this person, this person. You're just feeling like a, an ocean, like a detachment is happening. You have awareness, crystal clear vision. And that is us touching upon cosmic consciousness. You know, it's because of this huge transformation that is coming through again here, transformation, intuition, patience. We're asked to have patience with whatever is occurring in our life. You could be finding that there's a lot of, um, you know, pushbacks, um, technical pushbacks um, for whatever reason, you know, mail not coming through or, you know, your website, you know, having technical issues or, you know, whatever is a seemingly a pushback is actually just testing your faith testing your strength into is that really what you want truly are you going to fight for it we need to show up here and so we have here this arrow it's the intention and the detachment it's like whatever is happening i'm still going to go forward because i have there's a calling there's a deep knowing within me that is saying this is it i'm doing this and as you find this equilibrium within you, you have here equanimity, balance. Here you have material richness and authentic prosperity. So this is this abundance coming through. Only once you find this balance within you, once you become authentic within you, with yourself, this prosperity is going to come naturally. So there's no fear to have. There's just... Um, a need to shift the perception inwardly and out of ourselves in the sense that it's not for ourselves, it's about giving, it's about sharing, gratitude, service, altruism, humility, conscious action. We have this monk with this Buddha here. As we learn to do things 
we are caring so much about all of those emotions. You know, we've been through that. Now it's the time to, of course, there's always a process, an ongoing process with this. But there's been a huge uh, moment here this month of November, especially the like end of October and um, first part of November, where we have gone so down and deep that now there's only the rise that is possible. And that is this new earth. It is happening. Keep holding the vision. So you might find yourself that things that mattered for you before that you got stuck on or your mind kind of got obsessed, attached to, no longer matter so much. You might have some relapses, but there's a definite sense of, okay, I've gone on a plateau now. There's a different plateau and it feels, it really feels like it happened for you. It's not like you have done anything because we've been pushed. So if you have been able to allow yourself to go through those waves and not try to attach too strongly with what you were used to, what you knew here, you might have allowed your body to integrate into something much higher, another state of consciousness, a higher frequency, this upgrade. And it's unbeknown of you, right? It's really, it really feels like you haven't done anything. And that's where we had talked so much about the feminine energy, the divine feminine. Um, and we have, again, this mother healing happening where we need to allow things to happen, you know, especially with this Mars in retrograde where things will happen, right? But it will come from the inside. There's an allowing. And not being so aggressive and forcing things, right? You have the weight of the world, boundaries, let it go. It's not yours to carry. This boundary setting, right? So this could be with a person. But, you know, boundaries is not so much about physically saying no to someone. It's actually more subtle than that. Can you be in a relationship or any situation with another person in a connection? And you, the boundary is that your focus... Yes, you're speaking with this person, you're giving their, them the at attention, but your, your focus stays internal. That's where, you know, especially you, the empaths and highly sensitives here, you don't allow all of the drama or the, whatever is happening or being said take over your space, your internal space. So you can be present in both situation at the same time you can be there but you are here first right that's the boundary that's an inner boundary and also your own inner boundary with your mind how disciplined are you how you know how good is your concentration and i believe me it's not easy you know there's been so much but at one point there's also this total let go where there's no no concentration, no um, concentration or no no concentration. There is just I'm here. It's like that could have happened for you too. You know, perhaps you had a way of meditating, and that has popped out. Lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before, so make it to you. No, you have to make it, fake it. Till you make it. Right? I think that's the expression. So, make believe, but that's not manipulating anyone. It's actually, you know, when we have a strong pattern of auto sabotage, I can't, I can't, or I don't have enough practice, I'm not ready. Yes, you are. You listening right now, if you have any doubt, this should be the end point of that doubt in this moment. Yes, you can. Yes, we can. Right? And so, to change those patterns, we have to do like, act as if, right? It's this act as if. And things will happen. Things will happen. Things will won't fold. But you have to put up the energy that is different from the blockage you were finding yourself in before. You know, it's getting out of your way. Now... With all of this healing, you have multidimensional healing at so many dimensions that like we talked about has been happening. It's time for integration number six, six again here. So this has to do with 
grounding whatever you know i don't know if you guys had a lot of headaches or you know hurting a lot the third eye or the crown or here the the the, the door here there's been so much concentration upward but then here we're finding that there's a grounding that is happening and that's enabling a flow right enabling um an easiness an easiness easiness is very important and so again practice self-love nurture your inner child this is what it is right now and for that you get again retreat rest deeply number 44 here and that's crucial i think that again the rest can be you know small naps here and there but it's finding this rest point within you where whatever you do you could be very busy there is a point of relaxation that you cultivate within you it's um it's a physical sensing you will feel your body there's a, a certain state where you will find yourself completely light and relaxed and this point whenever you start to feel stress or whatever you need to be aware enough to breathe it back and that's split seconds during your day. You will find that you won't spend so much, ener so much energy. You won't feel that drained anymore. And so here, with everything, all the upgrades that have been happening, we need to be aware that it, it has also um, increased our sensitivity and intuition. And so when this happens, you need to be careful because this is beautiful, but it also comes with responsibility where perhaps it, it makes you over, like even more sensitive than you were before. And so there could be more emotional triggers, more rapid reactivity that would come through, anger, irritation, frustration. And so, especially with Muslim retrograde, <laughs> for another two months, so we have time with that to learn that lesson, but we need to, yeah, be aware of that, okay? And we definitely have here the death of the deceitful. Whatever has been deceitful in your life, it could be, you know, anything, is coming to light. That's, that has been very clear. Things are being clarified. This is Scorpio energy as well. And this is beyond your mind, you know. The mind is a labyrinth and it will put you into crazy, complicated stress and fear. But here we're coming into an easiness. You know, when things become more easy, when you feel you more flow during your day, you know that you are in the right state. When you start to feel stressed, tense, and, and everything is very complicated in your mind and, you know, all that, you know you're coming back to the ego and to your limited self. And that, that goes with smother, which has to do with this attachment, you know, feeling uh, suffoca suffocating or suffocating someone else. You know, that's again being too concerned about the external when we should give space and come back here, the boundary. Okay? So, here what we're seeing is gifts from the past as well, finishing up here, Pisces, where all of this past, all of those past behaviors, whatever, whatever happened, those experiences, they are gifts. All the suffering you went through, it's a gift. It has brought you to the point where you are now. And we need to see it in this way, you know, change your perception, they said. Perhaps you're getting clarity on that. Everything is starting to make more sense. And so here we are in the integration point. We are at the harmonizing, let your light shine. We are in this new chapter here, definitely new chapter. And that will come with what? With we, the authors, deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. So we are being reborn for sure. And all we need to do is mother ourselves, our inside. Once we do that, we align, we integrate, we are authentic. Everything is going to flow. Okay. So trust, trust, trust. I love you, Pisces. I miss you so much. <laughs> and we'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.